Hi guys, it's your girl Sam Marie. Thank you again for coming back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here. If you're old, thank you guys for being loyal and for liking my videos and sharing them. Today's video is going to be about my top four agencies and why I like them. So if this sounds interesting to you, continue to watch this video. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into this video. I have here with me, guys, my handy dandy notebook because you guys know that I do not like to miss information. I like to kind of refer back to the information so that I don't leave out any important details. My first one that I have on here is Maxim and it goes by Maxim Healthcare. Some people just say Maxim. So Maxim is my first because guys I feel like right now in this period of time they have the highest paying contracts besides like Crucial and Snap Nurse. So and it's like a facility where you actually are not a facility, a, a travel nurse company that you actually have a recruiter that's going to be doing all the work for you. And obviously you just do your credentialing and all of that. So they will be my number one. I feel like right now, it's so like on my current assignment, which I will be having a video about this one later. It's a 13 week assignment. And guys, I'll be making six figures just in a 13 week assignment. So I'm going to talk to you guys more about this. But right now, let's just focus on why Maxim is number one. So with this company, I have just recently switched my recruiter. I've had him the whole time since I've been working with Maxim. For the most part, it was like communication issues. So a lot of them will communicate with you. You just have to obviously find the right recruiter. Most of the time, it all falls on like who your recruiter is and like what are they doing for you? Because some people can say so much about a travel nurse company, but then really it was all along it was just a recruiter not even the company itself and they never did even like try to reach out to the manager to get a new recruiter so before you just like just talk down on a company please try to change your recruiter and then give a real review on whether or not the company is good another reason why uh, maxim is on my number one list is because i feel like I've never had to wait to get an assignment. Like there's always options available for me. And obviously like I've med search in the Facebook groups, like 5,000 and up, 4,000 and up for like travel nursing assignments. You'll see more ICU postings and more um, like ER postings. And with Maxim, um, there's always jobs for med search. So my second one is cross-country nursing cross-country nursing they fall in second place only because i've had a few issues with them so with cross-country they have they don't have as high paying contracts now when the crisis contracts came out there were like some high paying ones that were in like denver and like just other areas so like a lot of people were not trying to go like during the season so like if it's cold there they'll have like higher contracts there in denver or in like massachusetts they had a lot of east coast contracts which i'm not trying to go there again until like the spring when it's like really nice i don't want to go in the snow again they pay less for the most part and then on top of that like um the some of the i've like talked to multiple recruiters with cross country and a lot of them are very like rude like they're just straightforward rude they're not like all about customer service and all of that so that's why they fall into second place if i didn't have those issues they would kind of be up there with maxim um for the most part my recruiter like with cross country she is always able to like find contracts as well like but most of the time they're not always to where i want to go so obviously with travel nursing you want to be able to go where you want to go when you want to go not just like oh i'm only limited to certain areas because that's not fun that's not the fun part travel nursing is supposed to be about like just getting up oh i want to go to hawaii tomorrow like you know on a travel assignment and you go obviously it's not going to be tomorrow but because you know you have to do all the credentialing but just trying to get my point across so hopefully you guys don't literally take that to the heart. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. My last video wasn't as perky, but I'm gonna be a little bit perkier in this video because I'm in a different setting and it's just giving me more, you know, I don't know. All right, so also I think I don't 
don't quote me on this, but I will find it and I will put it in this video as a screenshot or as a screen recording or something. But I believe that Maxim pays a little bit less of a referral bonus than cross country. So that's like one pro that cross country has. They have a higher paying um, travel referral. So if you refer any of your friends to them or to like to your recruiter, obviously you'll get paid. My third country or country. My third travel nursing agency that I like the most. I wouldn't even say the most, but it's just on my list of the people that I've been with is GQR. So when I first met this company, I was just like, I've never even heard of this company at all because that's not literally, it's not one of the big ones that everybody know about. But with this company, they fall third and third place because obviously pay is lower than the other two that I've already listed. Most of the facilities that they contracted with or assignments that they had were like long-term care assignments and I tried it it just wasn't for me guys your girl cannot work long-term care I'm sorry I just cannot deal with working with like 20 plus patients and basically not even having a chance to build a rapport with my patients it was just insane like I don't know don't want to go back to all of that but no, not for me. Also, with this company, um, the good, a good thing about them is that they, for the most part, sometimes they'll provide, if it's like a crisis contract or even other contracts, like they'll provide a rental car for you, they'll pay for your housing, which obviously plays into why they offer less money than the other two companies. But I kind of like to have that option to pick my own housing because, you know, I'm kind of bougie, okay, when it comes to living somewhere. I just can't live in, like, just anything, okay? So, yes, that's, like, my one bougie thing. My one bougie characteristic. I just can't, like, live in just any place. Sorry, I'm going on a ramble. But they'll pay for your housing. They'll pay for your rental car. And then they'll offer you something maybe, like, 2K a week or 3K a week. Just throwing some numbers out there. So... Um, what else do I like or dislike about this company? I had a really bad experience. <laughs> See, I guess I should save this for another video. So some of the, some of the things I'll just go ahead and say. So they gave, um, certain people or nurses certain stipulations and they gave other nurses uh, like not the same stipulations. So basically they'll say, oh, well, we'll pay for this and we'll pay for that to one nurse, but then not do it for the other nurse. So there was kind of some confusion. And no matter like how hard I tried to like get to the bottom of it, even though I was like getting other people to tell me that they were doing other things for them that they weren't doing for me, they never like gave in to like try to like resolve the issue. So I was just like, you know what? I'm done with this company. So that was like one hiccup that I had with them. Um, other than that, like I always got paid on time. I never had any issues with that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's really it about them. The last and final company. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this one either. Like, um, they're called Jackson Nurse Professionals. So I did one contract with them, but for the most part, they were, um, okay. The credentialing process for this company took the longest out of all the other ones that I've listed. It took literally like you needed something for everything like there was so many modules so many like and it was just for the company it wasn't even for the facility and there was just so much stuff to go into like the pay is lower as well they only like staff in certain places and like the assignment that i did like it was in alabama and i'm from alabama and i went to go back to alabama but i mean the price was like decent enough to go there because I could like save some money but <clears throat> and plus the cost of living is like super cheap in Alabama during the credentialing process they were like um they waited until like days before maybe like a day or two before I was supposed to go to orientation to tell me that I was required to take a telemetry test and the thing was is that they were trying to get me to work telemetry when my contract said med surge only. So if the pay is going to differ between just med surge and telemetry, then you need to be paying me telemetry, not for um, med surge pay if I'm gonna be working on a, a telemetry unit. 
So, um, yeah, that was like a hiccup that they did. And I was like, well, it's not in my contract of this, this, and that, A, Y, and Z. And it was just a lot. So, actually, when I got to the facility of that contract, they still tried to force me to take the test so that I could be floated to um, telemetry and work on that unit. And that's why it's number four. So, it's kind of like the least favorite of all the ones that I've been with. And yeah it's just not really great a lot of work less money and a lot of miscommunication on their part as you guys can see like i'm just very big on communication sorry it's just you either communicate with me and tell me everything like up front or like i just don't like want anything to do with you because i like to communicate and i'm going to reciprocate the same thing i want i'm going to tell you everything you need to know and i want you to do the same thing so yeah okay guys i think that's it i rambled a little bit in this video but hopefully you guys learned at least something of why i like these companies if you have any more questions like in detail about the companies feel free to inbox me um on any of my social media platforms you can follow me on facebook at santasha thompson um you can follow me on Obviously, you can email me. I have an email like listed on this account if you want to just email me and I can answer the question or you can just put the question down in the comment section and I'll answer it. Um, again, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you guys so much for... Oh, sorry, guys. I just saw a spider. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Guys, I love you. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.